My family drives this road often throughout the year, and I've never felt that we were in any type of danger at any time. We've driven through this intersection during a rainstorm, but on August 19th, 2011, it did rain and rain and rain. It poured all day long, and nothing would quite prepare the motorists driving along this road and stopped at this intersection for what was about to occur. As the rain came down, water started to fill the road. Higher and higher it rose until cars were lifted up and people were struggling to escape, fearing for their lives. The water was swift and deadly, rising nine feet in just minutes. At the end of the horrifying experience, the lives of four women, including a mother and her two daughters, were lost. This tragedy brought together many different people, politicians, including Pennsylvania State Senator Jim Furlow, engineers, and neighborhood groups. What they hoped to accomplish was finding a solution to the storm-induced overflowing of the city's storm sewer system, thus conceiving the plan for Project 15206 to prevent tragedies like this from ever happening again. Their solution? In an interview with Senator Furlow, my question was answered. One way to do it is through rain containers, and with the leadership of Meredith and others on staff here are together with a group called Stormworks, a new container. You can uh, it's a 116-gallon container. It's estimated that we might take out of the system roughly... Two million gallons of water per year. ...from the rain containers themselves. It's important to mention that this is only one part of the solution. Rain containers do help take water out of the system, but bioswales, watersheds, and eco-houses are also very important factors to lower rainwater in the Pittsburgh sewer system. As well as being eco-friendly, Project 15206 partnered with the Student Conservation Association to create job opportunities. The Student Conservation Association, which is, uh, has a, is a national organization that actually has an office in Pittsburgh, had 12 high schoolers as well as four crew leaders, and they'd grow up and uh, go out in groups of four and actually do all the installs. And in that six-week period, we were able to install 175. But let's backtrack a second. Why are rain barrels necessary in the first place? First of all, Pittsburgh has a sewer system called a combined sewer system. This means that human waste or anything that is flushed down a toilet goes into the same pipe as the rainwater. So, when Pittsburgh has a major wet weather storm, there is so much water in the system that Alcasan, Allegheny County sewage treatment plant, can't handle all of the flow. So, the excess sewage goes into our rivers. And even at times, like in August of 2011, when the water is surging so hard, there is no place for it to go, except up and out of the storm drains, which is what happened on that fateful day. The overflow causes untreated human waste to overflow out of the sewer system and be deposited into our waterways. That's right, the water we drink. These overflows are often called combined sewer overflows, or CSOs. So by installing rain barrels, Project 15206 hopes to take away rainwater from the system and, at the same time, help homeowners save money by allowing them to use the rainwater for various tasks. Project 15206 clearly helps the environment through the use of science, technology, engineering, and math. But how do homeowners feel about the rain containers themselves? I love this, this tank. Generally, I use the water to plant every, for everything that needs water in my backyard. I think I probably save about $100 a summer, and uh, that's always very nice, too. The tragedy on Washington Boulevard in 2011 brought many groups together to work toward a solution to ending storm sewer overflows. Project 15206, with its focus on rain barrel installation and biosphere development, is the first step in controlling the floodwaters along Washington Boulevard and safeguarding Pittsburgh's water from sewer overflows. An additional protection for motorists is the installation of traffic arms at the east and west ends of the road where the water is known to rise. These arms lower during the storm events and stop traffic from entering into the danger zone. Over the next several years, when the project is in full motion, the traffic arms will be dismantled and motorists can again drive this road without fearing for their lives at the first drop of rain.